From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Well, if you've been following Weather NorCal for a while, you may have discovered it is by far the best local weather forecast that you can find here for Northern California. But you also may have noticed or may not have noticed or known that there are a few other things that I do outside of the weather. One would be the NorCal Ag Report, which is semi-weather related, right? Ag is, of course, affected by the weather. We interview different ranchers, different farmers, and learn more about the local agriculture in this area. So be sure to check it out. It's sponsored by Lassen County Nursery. You go to weathernorcal.com, click on NorCal Ag. You can also go to the free Weather NorCal app and of course watch them from there as well check it out all right so let's talk about this heat wave let's talk about our fire danger there's a lot to talk about despite the fact it's just going to be hot and high fire danger because there are a lot of aspects that kind of go into it we're not going to see much relief overnight that's one of the aspects of the heat wave right hot dry and windy conditions here giving us continued high fire danger at least through tomorrow night not just tomorrow but even tomorrow night the heat wave extends well into next week. This is a prolonged heat wave that reaches levels of, you know, being dangerous, quite honestly, is what we're really looking into here, right? So you're talking 110 degrees for the valley, give or take. You're talking temperatures mainly in the 90s, even some triple digits for the higher elevations. And for the North Coast, sunny skies eventually. Of course, we saw some of that fog this morning, but the red flag warning is in effect through Wednesday night. And when we look at the winds, you'll see what I'm talking about when we look at the, the forecast winds. So the winds will be out of the north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. This is, you know, is not a huge wind event, all right? But it's strong enough that it's creating problems when we're looking at gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. But the humidity is also a factor, five to 15%. And what's really not mentioned in this is the heat too. So we're warming things up, we're drying things out, and we are seeing high winds. So we look at the winds here for today at 6 p.m. Look at the gusty winds in the valley. See the upwards of around 30 miles per hour in parts of the valley. A little breezy for the mountains, but nothing terrible. And of course, breezy for the coast as well, over 20 miles per hour. But look at tomorrow morning. Winds upwards of close to 30 miles per hour again. Calmer winds in the mountains. Still those breezy north winds for the coast. By tomorrow afternoon, you'll notice the winds actually not as strong, but still gusty nonetheless. Still a little breezy for the, for the uh, mountains, still a bit breezy along the coast as well. Now, as we go into Thursday morning, still those gusty winds, but by Thursday afternoon, look at that. We're start, starting to see the winds begin to relax a bit. This is good because it's gonna help to decrease that fire danger. And even the coast, seeing some of those weaker winds out there as well. Now we look at the fire weather risk, combining the temperatures, right? The heat, the dry conditions and the wind, Extreme fire danger, that's the red, the deep red that we're seeing here, all right? You'll notice for the, um, the mountains, mainly in the moderate range, that's the yellows that you're seeing there. Let's take you to Wednesday morning. This is unusual. This is something we haven't seen this season so far, is the moderate to even high fire danger for parts of the valley and the surrounding foothills because it's still very dry, it's still windy, and still fairly warm out there. I mean, I guess the good news is, though, we are seeing the low fire risk for the higher elevations. But of course, we go back to extreme fire danger for tomorrow afternoon, moderate to high in Shasta Valley in central Siskiyou County, and moderate conditions here for some of the mountains. But look at that, even down towards southern Trinity County, down into the high range, or up into the high range. Now, as we go into Thursday afternoon, you'll notice we're not in the extreme range anymore for the valley, just in the high. Okay, so we are seeing the fire danger begin to drop a bit as those winds start to die down, but it's still hot. It's still dry. Just the winds are dying down and that should help. All right, so we take a look at this big, broad ridge of high pressure. See that? See the big arc in the clouds right here? That's the ridge of high pressure. It's building. It's getting stronger. As a result, it's going to get hot. We've already noticed it today. We're going to notice it even more so over the next few days. Excessive heat warning through Sunday for the valley, the surrounding foothills. For Trinity County, Northern Humboldt County, Wednesday through Saturday. 
All right, we take a look at your heat alerts here. Excessive heat watch for most of Siskiyou County, Modoc County, Thursday. So it won't start until Thursday and last through the weekend. We also have a heat advisory for Trinity County, Southern Humboldt County, and off the coast, so the inland areas of Del Norte County through Wednesday, so through tomorrow. Now these heat advisories, the warnings, the excessive heat watches, the heat advisories, it extends from Southern Washington all the way down to Southern California and even into Arizona. So this is a heat wave that's not only impacting us, but it's impacting pretty much the Western United States in general. So here it all is. Let's kind of spell it all out for you. So we've got the heat, the bubble of heat or the dome of heat right here. So the main heat is right here. We're still kind of, there, but as this heat moves closer to us, what happens? Our temperatures increase, right? But the positioning of this high pressure today and tomorrow is going to be such that the rotation around that high will give us the classic setup for the gusty north winds. That's today. That's tomorrow. So as this moves closer, the winds continue to be a problem for Wednesday, but temperatures start to increase on Wednesday. Now, the positioning of that high pressure allows the winds to no longer be a factor on Thursday, so the 4th of July, but that heat, it's moving closer, so it gets just a little bit hotter for your 4th of July. Friday, Saturday, winds again, no longer a big factor here, but now that dome of heat is right on top of us. When you have the dome of heat centered right on top of you, that's where the hottest temperatures will be, and that's where we will be. This will be the peak of the heat wave on Saturday. All right, then we go into Sunday, watch what happens. This low pressure is kind of riding up. It's, it's butting up against the ridge. It can't move through. This is too strong of a ridge for it to, to do that. This is actually a fairly strong area of low pressure, by the way, but it's just gonna ride over that ridge. So what it will do is help to kind of nudge this ridge of high pressure and the heat back down to the south and east. So we'll see a downward trend in our temperatures starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But even though it's a downward trend, it's still gonna be rather hot. Temperatures still well above normal and well above 100 degrees for the valley in particular. But this is gonna be some relief. So we're, again, we're, we're, we're getting the peak on Saturday, but it's gonna extend on into next week as well. So here's your forecast for today. We're talking 108 to 110, pretty much in the valley here for today. In the mountains, 80s and 90s. Some of the cooler spots like Lassen Park, for example, about 79, but that'll probably change by the time we do get into tomorrow. So we take a look at your seven day outlook. We're gonna start off with the valley. Notice for Redding in particular, 110 degrees or higher all the way through early next week. And again, that'll extend into Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. For Red Bluff, Chico, like around 108, 212, 115, right? So it's getting quite hot and will stay hot for a while. Now for the coast, you're also gonna see warmer temperatures, just not as extreme, obviously, right? We're talking temperatures there uh, in the mid 70s, 74 degrees Thursday, 74 Friday, and there's the inland areas up to 110 degrees or higher, even Weaverville, you're looking at those temperatures, upwards of 110 degrees or higher. Mount Shasta, over 100 degrees. Look at that, up to 105 on Saturday. And so it's getting hot right? Alturas, you're up to 102 on Saturday. Susanville, you're up to 105 as well. So as I mentioned, this heat wave is going to continue not only through the weekend, but into next week as well. At Cottonwood Small Animal Clinic and Cottonwood Veterinary Clinic, we're here to provide the best possible care for your patients. We understand that your pet is your family member, and when your family member is sick, they need urgent help. All our staff is so passionate about the care that goes into all your little creatures. Making relationships with pet parents here in Cottonwood is the greatest feeling in the world. Come find us off the Gas Point exit here in the heart of Cottonwood.